and welcome to today's video. We have something slightly different for you today. Ghost Recon Wild on Narco Road DLC. Bit of gameplay, bit of our opinion. Well, we're doing one of the first missions that you do in uh, one of the area, an upload mission. Yeah, we have a few missions from each area. Not giving it all away, but there's a decent amount of information, de decent amount of footage. So you can see what it's about and what you feel of it before you buy it. This is the bug that's on the game. You sit on the side, don't get your drone out. Because every time you do, it smashes into the propellers. Like repeatedly. As you see me keep doing. Almost blows the chopper. This is to do about the new handling with the planes. Yeah. This is ridiculously shit. They totally fuck the planes. Somehow the plane handles more like a chopper than it does a plane. Like certain points your plane will just literally turn upright and yeah, it just doesn't and it will more work. or less stop in the air. They've broke this game more than they've broke any other game. Yeah, Ubisoft. this this update come with more bugs than the original game had. I mean, we played the closed beta, that had a lot of bugs in, but this update is worse than that. It's like this spraying of pesticide. That just stops. Every so often <laughs> you'll get it, and then it'll just stop, and then you'll get it, and it'll stop again. It's a really bad experience. I mean, after about five hours of playing with the plane, you might get used to it. I did eventually. Yeah, you do. But, but it takes it takes a, a bit of a learning hell. curve to get used yeah, to. Yeah, like in the in the actual Ghost Recon, <laughs> I love the planes. I, I could fly you really good. This, nah, it's just fucked. Shit balls. The bikes in the game, though, they're really nice. Bikes about the only good vehicle in the game. Yeah, the monster truck has terrible handling. The car, when you're using that, it has terrible handling. Pretty much every vehicle, other than the motorbikes, are even worse handling than originally. Yeah. I mean, pretty good that they put nitrous on some cars, I guess. Fucking hell. Yeah, it makes it more fun, but your cars last about two seconds. Yeah, fun is the key word for this update. I mean, if you want to go on a fuck about, yeah. it's worth it. If not, don't. If I mean, you like, want to stick true to the to the original game, then like you're gonna be a bit disappointed. Yeah, like all stealth, that yeah, kind of shit is out the window. There is no stealth, no nothing. It's just not worth it. I mean, it's loud and proud on this shit. Shit balls. Most of the missions are quite similar to to the proper ones, to the ones on the original game, but the rest of the gameplay is just completely different. Yeah, most of the missions aren't that good either. No. I mean, the missions that we show are the good missions in the areas. And even then, there wasn't that great. Throw in a few side missions so you can see what they're like. Side the missions, not too like bad. That. I mean, don't do a hill climb in a buggy. Hey, just just don't. Yeah, buggies with nitrous, all you do is wheelie and flip. Yeah. No control whatsoever. Nothing. These cars are quite nice, but very easy to lose control when using nitrous. As you can see. <laughs> yeah. That's what that was me fucking. 
These are the drift challenges. Um, drift around corners, get points, more fans, stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty much a Forza Horizon 3. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this update, you gotta get fans. Yeah. To unlock shit. Yeah. And there's a massive amount of Roblox. It's a yeah. game that gives you NOS, gives you the ability to go fast, and they have Roblox everywhere. Fucking everywhere. Yeah, insane amount of Roblox that you never saw, really, in, in the original game. And another big bug, um, randomly grenades will just show up on the map. Yeah. You could be holding a hostage or you'll, you'll have something and a grenade will just randomly pop up. Yeah, it is, especially when you're spawning. It generally happens then, doesn't it? Yeah. Like a grenade will just be going off next to you, so that was this is going to be terribly driving <laughs> these new cars. This is very early on in the game where we didn't really know how to drive them. Yeah. We completed the original game in a week and we haven't really been on it since. Yeah. So. When we say we completed it, we don't want those people going, oh, you only kind of completed it. Nah, we did everything, all the little side missions as well. All the collectibles, did it all in a week. Yeah, this one took us about eight hours. We've still got uh, a few collectibles and files to collect, but it took us about eight hours for the main, for the main part of the game. You start without all your skills. Um, you get some skills. Yeah, you get you some get of some. the previous skills, but you get some of them taken off of you, and it's not as easy to get resources anymore. No, and you, you don't, don't have you don't have all the weapons you had, um, so you want to sort that out when you start the game. You never move on. Okay, yeah, you just want to check what shit you've got and what shit you don't, yeah. and sort your load out, out, because you have to remake your whole character again. And all yeah, that new character. You're down a few levels. We've got obviously level 30 in, in the main campaign. On this, we're like level 23. 24. Yeah, I think it chucked you in at level 20. Yeah, something like. Sensitive to shocks. It's time we went for a ride. Oh, the cars really like to pull to the right as well. Like, for no apparent reason. They'll just lock to the right. So sort of like that. <laughs> and your car just won't won't go left or straight. Just push you right for some reason. That's better handling when you're using NOS though. Yeah, yeah. These are clusters, not like not exactly side missions, but like bonus stuff. They're not really side missions, are they? Like the hill no, climbs. This is part of the main. Oh, the hill climbs. Yeah, that was like the yeah, jump. They just yeah, the jumps. They're not, they're not really exactly side missions. They're no, just, they're more just things to get your fans up, uh, to progress, progress you faster throughout throughout the game, so to unlock missions and such. I guess it could bring a new sense of um, challenge to the community. I mean, the only thing that we had before was who could get the longest snipe. Yeah. Now I guess it's who can get the longest jump, yeah. best drift, that kind of stuff. My accident land in there. <laughs> Taking on those guys, jumping trucks. Get stuck. <laughs> if you get stuck, use nitro. Yeah, it'll get, it'll get you, get you out of any anywhere. situation. These are the new um, exclamation marks. You do get them from doing some story missions, making fans. It's pretty much in telling the main game. It'll tell you where skills are, um, well, skill grades, points, stuff like that is.
Yeah, for some reason on Ryan's skill points weren't showing up. Still a um, big bug there. Well, no, it wasn't. The, yeah, it was skill points, medals, uh, weapons, stuff like that. On mine, the weapons weren't showing up. Like, we was literally at a weapons case. Ryan was able to get it. I wasn't. Um, until my game crashed and I had to restart, then it let me. One of the good things was during the career, I didn't get the 100% achievement for some unknown reason. Um, but when I did a stunt jump on the update, it, it gave me the achievement. So that was a bonus. This is one of the side missions, by the way. Um, animals are locked in a crate. You just roll up. Kill a few guys, tag it. You time to get to that place. Yeah. But you roll up, tag it. Ease a couple okay, of thousand. We'll just tag the animals with a beacon. Great. This is a um, obstacle course type thing. Um, you just drive around it on a motorbike. Get it. Again, get fans to help you progress. It's all about getting fans. Yeah. You wonder why there's a bike there on the left. That was <laughs> one of my previous fuck ups. Yeah, it's not just randomly there. Yeah, some of the old cars in the game have nitrous too. Like, um, the Zeus truck. By far the best truck in the game, in my opinion. As well, you deal a lot more with Unidad in this update. Yeah, yeah. But then again, you are a bad this time, aren't you? I guess so. Yeah. You don't really get into Unidad. These are the um, stunt things, uh, aerobatic stunts. Where you just fly through them, you can skydive through them. And this is Eddie. Yeah, this, yeah. this is the end of the first guy. That's the end of the first chapter, first area, as you might want to call it. This is the start on the second one, the cult leader. This guy's got by far the best bike in the game. Easily. We'll show it in a minute. He's literally the best bike in the game. I, well, there is a llama bike. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we don't have footage of that for you. But I mean, you see a picture of a llama. I go for it, get that bike, and see what happens. It is magical. I believe that the Holy Lady has sent you to us to help our cause. But first, I need to yeah, the, this bike that you're going to see is by far the best bike on the game. It is, it's an insane vehicle and it's not last forever. The way they've made this map layout is they took certain areas and put them together from like the main map in the original game. They don't have anything else like connected to it so you can only stay in these four areas is it? Yeah, four areas, yeah. But I mean there might be room for an expansion. Yeah, there seems to be more it. areas around it. Just you can't use them. Yeah. So there might be another expansion to this DLC, or it might be a loading DLC stuff together. We'll have to wait and see for that. We'll be getting early access to them all because we have season pass. As long as they follow suit, we've given season pass holders it early. Go for a ramp down here, but it turns like it's the wrong way around. Just so you know what I'm there, man. Ramp is the wrong way around. Just didn't know this. The ramp is the wrong way around. Look, it goes that way. You went the wrong way. Yeah, I went, well, not. The ramp's I'm, I'm the same <laughs> way, no matter what. You went the wrong way. Yeah, you died. Shit, man down. Oh, you don't fall off these bikes. 
Just yeah, the bikes with Nosh, you don't fall off. I mean, we call it supermanning on the old DLC, where you hit a rock, you did like a superman dive, and then you died. Yeah. It, with these bikes with Nosh, that doesn't Take happen. Like, whatsoever. You, you can't fall off these bikes. <laughs> there is true darkness in your cousin. A black void that she shall soon inhabit. But go now, prophet. Go. Preach the word of this skinny leg. Yeah, that's when it's done jumps the fans. Okay, you just take the animals. This is another one of them trials. We'll find them and extract them ASAP. There's your fan bar. When you get to that red head, you um, that's when the next next missions unlock for you. Generally, you get all the mission, uh, all the main missions unlock for that area. It's just the boss one that stays locked until you get to that far through the progression. Yeah. These are pretty easy. You just go slow. Um, some of them need jumps, so you might have to speed up a little bit. And back wheel got stuck for some reason there. Nice stunt jump at the end of this one. You could really do a bike from now. You really could, it'd be so much fun. <laughs> we'll go back and do that at some point. <laughs> Definitely. This is one of the hill climbs. These are quite fun, I quite enjoy them. Um, I guess it depends what you like from the main game. I love going there on mountains, so this for me is a welcome to part. Cockatrice are dusted. Good job. This way was passed entirely to the ancient roads. And as Again, they rode deep in the road, bike. around their shores, this is leading up to the last the part of Earth. the second the guy. There aren't really that many interesting missions in this one, that's why you haven't really seen any. They're all pretty standard, aren't they? Yeah, they're all pretty shit. Yeah. Yeah. Just a sun this little area. Yeah, pretty shit. For the last holy assignment. I deliver a basket for the master himself. We'll be putting to the video all the way to pretty La soon. But yeah, now, we'll see how this area ends. Yeah. Over. I, Arturo Rey, will become Lord of hell, and my mistress will be white lady No, it's not the best video. It's not the best one. But you guys will see the best one later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. This is great. Right. Right. Hey. Antonio? Yeah, Antonio gets killed and... Wow. That is by far. That was a sick entrance. Yeah. Hey, bomb, stay silent. There is a sign. The white lady wishes me to come to her alone. But I need a servant in hell. You must come too. <laughs> Will only make me stronger. Sacred Senora, I come to you. On fire. That's the second area complete. Again, there's a lot more missions in that, but they just want that interesting, so we didn't record it. Anything you want, I got it. 
Third area, the Tony guy. Yeah, he's just dreadful. You talk to me, Tonyo. Me and my friends, we loco. But I ain't no city gangster. Kuroiko born and raised, my playground, you guessed. Yeah, that was the road of death. That's where I learn all the skills in automobiles. I buy the chuto, I sell the chuto. No one better. And jacking, cracking, rolling, and balling, they ask for me, Tonyo. Now I am K-I-N-G of all that you see. So don't mess with the best. We the crazy riders. We live the life and the life is death and your last breath, motherfucker. Try and take my crown. You gonna get put down. Your head filled with lead. Face gone, name gone, never took part. All that's left, your mother's broken heart. So come on, putos, try to take me out, because here I am, unforgiven, still living. This time peace says fuck you. This caliber says fuck you. I go on and on till you all gone. So wake up, chicos, stop getting high. Step over to my side or you will die. Kinetis locos got the riches, got the skills, got the bitches. We thugs, we grind, we 360 strong. Oh, this car, this car's amazing. It is pretty good when it comes to NOS. I mean, no handling at all, but the speed on it is, is insane. I mean, I don't really showcase that because I need to get it somewhere, but it's impressive. You'll see the few odd times he does use it. <laughs> Shall how massive it jumps up in speed compared to some of the other cars when you use NOS it's not as good but this is one of those places where uh, one of these cars that just is common bike you see this one around you can call it in from support and it's, it is a really good bike it's one of my favorite bikes in the game now easily this is part of the mission for a race that you do. The final mission for it. Yeah, again, not many missions in this area were that good. Most um, of them are you stuck with the same stuff that are from just the main storyline. So yeah. we didn't want to just show the same shit all the time. Yeah, we thought we chose different about this update rather than what's the same. My driving isn't the best in this, but I still managed to do it. This was the first time I drove this truck with nitrous. I know these recordings are our first time doing it. I mean, we haven't gone back and redone and redone and redone them like some YouTubers will. I mean, no, this is just wrong. This is our first time on the game in weeks. First record. But we'll just smash it out and see what we get. I mean, some people might like that perfected stuff, but I mean, we're just true gamers. If you want to call it that, we do what we record what we do, and well, yeah, show sure you guys like that. We'd like to see what you think of this video. More like, if this video makes you want to buy the game or the DLC, sorry, leave it a like. 
if it makes you want to not buy the DLC, leave it a dislike. Let us see what what your opinion is of the DLC from this video. Be great feedback for us. And if you want to see us do more videos like this, let us know. Like reviews on games. I mean, let us know what games if we've got them. We'll do the review. If we don't have them, but we'll consider buying. Them. When DLC for PvP comes out for this game, we'll definitely be giving that a shot. Um, probably post a couple of videos at a time when we get it. But yeah, to see that all is probably going to be available to you at the same time as us. The actual game itself is quite a good game, I would recommend buying it. Um, the DLC, if you're going to buy it as part of the season pass, I'd say. Probably buy it. Yeah, buy the season, uh, buy the season pass. pass because I expect good DLC in the future. It could be an amazing, amazing game um, with DLC added. But I wouldn't recommend going out and buying just the DLC unless unless you feel you like it. But for just this DLC, I wouldn't recommend it. It wasn't it wasn't worth the price that you would have to pay for this alone. I mean, it's still buggy as hell. I mean, it would be a good DLC, in my opinion, if they fixed the, all the bugs and all the and little better things. Handling. They yeah. need to work on handling. When it's when it's a car-based DLC, vehicle-based DLC, the handling needs to be improved. You fantastic sucker! You an F double O L to think I can't tell you. My jungle. I own it all, bro. Me, Tonyo. I, the ace in this place, gonna get in your face like mate. You're gonna see me walk my talk, motherfucker. This mad dog don't ever let go. You're gonna pay in BL double OG. You're gonna get beat down. You're gonna get bone. You're gonna get burned. And when you dead, I'm gonna saw off your head. I'm gonna eat my instant oatmeal out of your motherfucking skull, yo. That is by far the best video in my opinion. Yeah, I would ever think that's, that's, that's the, the best, best ending to an area. Easily. So that's the ending to the third area. Now this is a big boss. Um, El Invisible is it? Yep. Very good at making friends. Your references are impeccable. Before his glorious beatification, Eduardo spoke highly of your bravery. Despite Tonio's terrible temper, he respected your methods. In Apuro, the zealot himself was impressed by your dedication. These men gave their opinions without threat or agenda. So you must come to work for me now, Mr. The operations of Santa Blanca need persons who swim well in shark infested waters. Of course, you must first demonstrate your sincerity by performing two assignments for me. Then we will know if you are truly a calzone from God. <laughs> Wait patiently, colleague. I will contact you. God, only to make believe that you are dead. Your heroics have upset too many of my workers and they call for your hand. So this is probably is it the third mission you do in this area? First, you need a to act as your the only one that's remotely interesting. Still the same kind of Ghost Recon Wild and shit. But continuing with the, the original gameplay from the from the main game. I like that. A ghost ghost. No shortage of corpses around here. This one just goes on to be a little bit more, doesn't it? A little bit more, yeah. Up. 
fucking hell. Terrible shooting. <laughs> It will be behind the behind the piece of stone. So no, well, I couldn't see. I thought it might. <laughs> I thought he might have been exposed. But <laughs> I thought he'd been exposing himself, but he wasn't. Just give me a build. I'm pretty sure he trapped his hand. Shotguns. <laughs> Goes from perfect to absolutely destroyed. This bit sped up a bit, or a bit of a long drawn out journey for not a lot. Yeah, you're taking a guy somewhere, it's the eye pool. Yeah. Yeah. On the first time we tried this, it just randomly blew up, didn't it? Yeah. So we failed it because of that. That's it, we're clear. Enemy activity nearby. Just so you can see, he holds back and not does a lot. I go and actually do most of it running around. Yeah, but that's because I have the medic yeah, drone. Yeah, and I can get you up. You didn't have it at this point. Do a low down. What? Do a low down. No, you didn't this time, no. Oh, you think I'm just bending this place? It's single handed, mate. So, pop the shot up and down again. That's all I needed to do, mate. No shit, because I would do the rest of it. Finish that mission off. You take this guy somewhere. Didn't have long left. Out with about five seconds to spare on it. Nine, eight, the guy, yeah. uh, five, yeah, seconds, five seconds, seconds to spare. spare. Then you've got to ditch the area. Yeah. Not too bad. No. Yeah. Now we need to call ghost. 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 <laughs> Congratulations. You are now officially dead. Death. It's only the beginning. You motherfuckers are supposed to be protecting me. The fuck do you think I'm doing? Yeah, a good distance stays about 100 meters um, in a car. So they generally don't notice you, and you get the you get the download you need. You remove the range that you need. Yeah, it seems a bit more than it's start a game. Yeah, a bit yeah. more sensitive. Yeah, if you go too close, they're like, yeah, we we know where you are. For some reason, the whole unit that base is empty. Something you've never seen before. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I certainly am. How long will I be in this safe house? Only for the rest of your life. The way things are going, that is not a long time. We got to you before the assassins, remember? I was just an ordinary man, yeah, and now I am on a test of life. We knew we were going to hack from your own PDA. I let him go, we'll never see Mr. Mysterious back. again. Let like alone his PDA. Yep. He's fine. He's fine, don't worry fine. about it. Hmph. <laughs> Stop that captain from running. We get kidnapped. We get fucked up and took into <laughs> prison. Yeah. Never trust. Bastard betrayed us. It's not like we're betraying him or anything. Where were you schooled? Langley? Camp Curie? The Point? It seems Looks like you're going to give us a head for it, but I was a little less clean from the CIA. Five seconds of being in prison is already on his knees. I don't know what to do, I'm scared. We've got the suit, bitch. I have enjoyed watching your progress, Spy. Very entertaining. We, the first time we tried this, this is our second try. We thought we could go in the old route that we went in the main game. It's closed on this one. Um, so you have to go out the front rather than out the back. Which we never came in the front so we got no idea where the fuck we go. No, we're all new with this bit. 
Yeah, as you see, we came in on the main story, on the right. We get shot, we get shot, locked, no way doing this. So, we're going to throw a bit of flash in the pot. I didn't realise no one was in them. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's just, when I realised. Just a note, so, don't have to pop every nah, single padlock. there's no one coming to help you. Yeah, that's probably like the only padlock you have to come with. Yeah. Just the thing, it doesn't show it from his uh, point of view. But if you do take manage to take out one of the snipers, you can run up there and get their snipers out. Uh, their snipers. Snipers got us targeted. And use them if you're more of a sniper on this yeah, game. The I mean, I do go down at the top of one of them, but yeah, I'm not yeah. a good sniper. You're not a good sniper. Nah, no, I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a good sniper. I mean, if you see future recordings, normally ends one who does the sniping. And holds back. I'm more close range pistol. Stealth. Didn't show that on mine. <laughs> it did on Got mine. For some reason I was pushed you out of the way because I couldn't get, I couldn't get past the partner. He was always in front of me in that area where I went down on mine. No for bugging the game, people. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, so, so thankful when this car came. Yeah, first. it was literally yes when this car came. <laughs> Oh, we might not have made it out that time. Um, There's a decent chance we wouldn't have. Oh, really bad shooting there. <laughs> yeah, we we didn't notice there was a gate just to our left <laughs> then. So we just kind of panicked. <laughs> it just kept driving. Yeah, this road panic run at this point, I mean I was scared we were all gonna die and have to do it again. I really didn't want that. Now just leave the area. Have a random roadblock. You could have dodged in there. Yeah. It's alright when you're in a normal car, it's when you're bombing down the street with nitrous on and there's a guy still in the middle of a unidad car. That's when it becomes a pain. Yeah. Ha, Gringo. 
So I'm hearing that you are CIA in disguise. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone is doing that. Dupes don't drift too good. Again. <laughs> this was the next mission along. You're helping a guy get yeah, poultry. He's going to give up information about Ellie and Visible. You can change yourself. One day you are very poor. The next day very rich. If you work hard. If you are an honest man. I also hear that there are many parties and fun to be had. But I also hear the opposite. That everyone carries guns because the cities are very mean and dangerous. That is why I'm planning to live in the countryside. I will live in a big house with a white fence, and I'm planning to marry and divorce several times. I believe that is the American way. Also, I will eat fast food for dinner every night. Burgers and fries. Yeah, what guy, <laughs> random grenades. Yeah, course, random grenade. But that nowhere. But this guy helps you out a lot through the, the actual career, well, the DLC career. Yeah, he's, always I mean, he's always there, and he's always got some kind of weird fishing thing doing. He's having uh, like a certain whistle he does. Yeah, that's how you locate him, his whistle. This is you extracting him to a different country. Well, back to the United States. Giving him a new life. It's a one way ticket. Just in it's case. Continuation of this back. mission. <laughs> Let's go to a secret bunker. Thank you, my friend. I will be very happy. And so will you be. Go we'll find a PDA. Ryan's the one that finds the PDA, so you won't see where it is. This is not a walkthrough video, this is a video to, well yeah, showcase some stuff. You probably find walkthrough videos out there by now. Yeah. Either way, they're easy enough. You really want to know it's in that building straight ahead from where it is now. <laughs> the PDA at this point. Yeah. And this is the escape I'll that drive. you gotta do. Alright, well the last video is coming up in a minute, so we'll leave you to that. Um if you like the video, subscribe to our channel please. And well thanks for watching. If there's any specific thing you want to know that didn't cover in the video, drop a comment and we'll we should be there. answer that for you.
They've sure taken their time. Decoding, extraction, it's not easy. One mistake, we lose all the data. Spider's web unravels. Sunrisa? How the hell? Wait! We don't point fingers, we don't take sides or make excuses. What happened is not down to any individual, any team or policy. We were victim of a clever deception and could not have known the damage that this deception would cause. Sonrisa's, or El Zamuro's, real name is Jose Vargas. He had been planning this attack and his extraction for some time. The hacker, Regillo, arrested by the CIA prior to these events, was the deliberate catalyst. The information Regillo gave us about El Invisible and his PDA was false. What concerns us is that we found no evidence to suggest that Vargas was a natural enemy of the CIA. So the question remains, why us? And why now? Vargas was estranged from his Chukisaka family and friends. He made a name for himself on the streets as the cunning but affable fence, Sonrisa. Later, he was confidentially recruited by Santa Blanca to control their smuggling network. But this El Invisible, as he became known, was never personally affected by CIA operations. One source suggested that during the recent drug wars, someone close to Vargas was killed by the DEA. The name Capullo de Rosa appears on several confessions we have obtained, but we can only speculate about this person's involvement in our story. What is clear, however, is that Vargas wanted to give up his position in the Santa Blanca hierarchy and used us to help him start a new life in America. Regrettably, a man with such skills at hiding his true identity has proved impossible to trace. My advice to you would be to learn from the unfortunate affair and put it all behind you.